Patrick, the Apex trailing drawdown is a scam. Why would you use Apex? Well, let's talk about that trailing drawdown. Let's just talk about it. What is the trailing drawdown? How does it work? So with Apex, when you get into a count, especially with the evaluation, the PA account, whatever it is, let's say you start out in a $50,000 account. The maximum that you can lose trailing drawdown is $2,500. If I enter a trade for a breakout here and it moves up, I take profit. Now my trailing drawdown, let's say, you know, my trailing drawdown was down here at this point following my price higher, right? All right. I enter the trade. I take profit up here. Well, now my trailing drawdown moves to here. Right, in terms of my overall account balance. Now, let's say the market, I enter here for a move and all of a sudden the market moves higher, but then it moves right back down. The problem is now my trailing drawdown, remember, if the market moves to here, my trailing drawdown is gonna move to here. So if all of a sudden the market starts to pull back, well, I've only got this much room until I hit my trailing drawdown. Now, that can obviously be hard sometimes if you don't take profit, but I would say the, obviously, the most important thing here is taking profit, locking in that profit, and not being greedy, because you only need to hit that profit target for the evaluation, and then once you're funded, it's just kind of getting into that rhythm of taking profit and getting above that buffer. With the $50,000 account, once you pass, 50,000 or 50 once you pass 52,600 in the Apex 50k account the trailing drawdown now stops and no longer rises with the uh equity in the account so the account itself is going to basically stop the trailing drawdown is going to stop at 50,100 so now at this point your trailing drawdown is stopped you no longer have trailing drawdown you don't have a daily loss limit you just can't allow the account to go below fifty thousand one hundred right you just don't let it don't let it go below fifty thousand one hundred because that's not good you don't want that to happen so now the account trailing drawdown has stopped at fifty thousand one hundred and you continue to make money you're making more money you're making more money and then what happens next well you build the account up you get an account balance like this let's say you got thirty four thousand dollars in drawdown in your account that's right you heard me right i've got thirty four thousand dollars in drawdown because that trailing drawdown has stopped at the hundred and fifty thousand one hundred mark so now i have no daily drawdown i have no trailing drawdown and i'm able to trade with large size take profit and get it going, right? I can get it going there with that. So once you get through the buffer zone, once you get over that, you no longer have to worry about the trailing drawdown. Obviously, you know, people are gonna complain and say, oh, I hate the trailing drawdown, it's a scam and, and vice versa. What I've learned, especially going through multiple PA accounts, going through multiple accounts in general with Apex, here's your entry at 238. Here's your trailing drawdown. You enter the trade, it starts moving up. Well, guess what? Now, trailing drawdown is moving up. It's moving up, it's moving up. Okay, it moves all the way up there, the price. Your trailing drawdown is now right here at 240 at your entry. Well, if you don't take profit there and the market starts pulling back, it starts pulling back and you're not taking profit, remember your trailing drawdown's right there. And do, 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 do. Basically now, you hit trailing drawdown, you get stopped out you lose the account. How do you avoid that? Well, we got to always keep in mind where that trailing drawdown is. All right. If I can go from the 48s up there, I got to take profit. I just got to do it. Take my profit. You can also play it with a stop as well. If I know, okay, where's my trailing drawdown? My trailing drawdown is right there at 247. And I know I want to keep a $2,500 buffer. Well, as this is moving higher, I'm going to move basically my stop up with it and make sure, worst kind of worst, I protect that trailing drawdown. So that way, you know, if this does pull back, I'm not gonna end up having only like a $500 drawdown at that point. I think you really gotta kind of move your stop up and make sure that you keep that trailing drawdown at the same level. Because again, if you get stopped out down here, now you've only got this much trailing drawdown. Where on this trade, let's say you enter the trade and this thing goes, 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 well, look at it. You got no problem getting funded. Your trailing drawdown is going to keep falling. But at that point, you no longer have to worry about your trailing drawdown because you're rich, rich, rich. So the biggest thing with the trailing drawdown is making sure, number one, 
that you're entering good trades, obviously, with that's anything, but just taking profit. You're not going to have to worry about the trailing drawdown. Let's say you enter a trade. Let's say you basically, I don't know, let's say you enter right here for this pullback and your trailing drawdown is down here. The nice thing is when you're in a loser, let's say you're, okay, I'm long right here, 275s. It starts pulling back. Well, it starts pulling back. My trailing drawdown does not move based on me being in a loser. Me being in the red, the trade, the trailing drawdown is not moving. So now the trailing drawdown I've entered here, it starts moving. Okay, the market's moving in my favor. My trailing drawdown is moving up. My target's moving up. Okay, look at that. You know, it's just moving up there. And then before I know it, bam, I take profit. My trailing drawdown stops and I've got it locked in there. So battling the trailing drawdown, is it good? Is it bad? It really comes down to just understanding the rules and making sure that you take profit. Once you're above that trailing drawdown, once you get out of that, that kind of, uh, you know, discussion of trailing drawdown and vice versa, forget about it. Well, then you've got a massive drawdown like me right now. 34,000. I mean, this count 21,000, 15,000. This is a 50 K account. And now I've got a $20,000 drawdown, $20,000 drawdown. With that account, there's no daily loss limit. There's no rules. There's no scaling rule once I'm in the fund account and all of that fun stuff. So it is maybe a little bit of a curse, but once you basically master the trailing drawdown, well, then it's nothing but fun, fun, fun. So there it is. The trailing drawdown with Apex, you just got to understand it. You got to be able to master it and lock in those profits, my friends. Lock in the profit. Get funded. Right now, Apex is 80% off. One day pass. Let's go. You know what to do. Use the code PW for the best deals always.